What's going on you guys? This is a Max Kid here, another Dell Optiplex 7050. Gonna be a two down, show you how to do that. So we're gonna remove the side cover panel. You're gonna slide it to the left. So all you need is just a Phillips head screwdriver and a flat head. Now you're gonna do remove the front cover basil. To do that, then use a little clips. Lift them up like this, gently. It's actually slide, so you're gonna do is you're gonna disconnect the SATA and power cable from the hard drive. It's a three and a half inch. Press on this and we'll slide to the right. Plastic caddy. And it's actually clipless, toolless. Comes out like this. Remove the optical drive. There's another right here. You press it like this, your finger, and you disconnect the SATA and power cable from the optical drive. And it's got a secure clip on the top. You press like press it down, and we'll slide to the right. Remove the PCI brackets. Remove the VD card. I'm gonna show you guys this side. This little clip. It's got a secure clip, so you're gonna take your finger like this, and you're gonna like press out on top like that, and the VD card should be able to remove. And this is what you have to press on right here. Press it up like this. Your finger lift it up. Now what I'll do is uh, I'm going to remove the memory It's got an M.2 SSD so it's got a It's actually toolless Lift it up like this and comes out I'm going to disconnect the CPU fan. What I will do is I'm going to take a paper towel and remove the remove the thermal compound from the CPU before you remove it. Clip on like this. What I will do is I'm going to remove the power supply. It's actually got three screws in the back. So you're going to take a flathead screwdriver and you're going to bend this like this, remove the city power cables and disconnect from the motherboard. I'm 
going to show you guys the bottom. So this uh, is the CPU power right here, the 4 pin disconnect. And the power switch is, would be in a corner here in the right. Right here where the rear system fan disconnect. And the internal speaker is in the right. So what I will do is I'm going to start off from the bottom and remove the screws here with the motherboard. There are three in the bottom, one here in the left, and it looks like the three on the top. I have to switch to the other side like this. And the way you pull the power supply. There's a little secure clip, so you're going to press it right here with your screwdriver and you should slide to the right. And this is, so we're gonna move this way in the, in the corner. The one screw in the middle, one on the right. And here in the corner, go the other side. I'm going to remove the rear system fan. Make sure to check everything's disconnected. Now on the back side, you have to go where the serial port is. You have to remove the two. Right here, you have to remove the serial port. You have to use the pliers. Otherwise, you cannot pull the motherboard out. I'll show you guys better. Here in the bar back side. Because this uh, two bolts right here, it's mounted to the to the case actually. It doesn't have iron shield in the back, so that's why you have to remove. You're gonna be able to pull out the motherboard. I 
have to check. Looks like there's something. There's uh, another bolt. Looks like another bolt here. Okay, so it comes out. So here's the motherboard. So it looks like uh, it is a micro ATX, but it's a little bit wider here on the side. So you could probably install it like in uh, my ATX case, but the back side will be sticking out. So you see a little bit, it's like a micro ATX, but uh, it's a little bit wider. Well, the other connections are, here's the back side. Got an internal speaker remove. I'm just gonna use a flathead screwdriver. It's in the front, it looks like. And this is the power switch. See you guys at the end of the video. Thanks for watching. Bye.